It's time for the mic drop on each show by going deep on one topic affecting our community in hopes we can all learn a little more. A perfect storm. That's what State Senator David W. Marsden, chair of Virginia's Transportation Committee, is calling the weather event that hit us early Monday morning. A mixture of rain, sleet, and snow that made roads impossible to pre-treat, leaving hundreds of people stuck in their vehicles on I-95. You see it here. Some for more than 24 hours. Perhaps some of you watching this were stuck out there in the cold and in the dark with no food or water, trying your best to stay warm and not run out of gas. Now, I wouldn't even know what to say to you if we were face to face other than I'm sorry that you had to go through something like that. I can't even begin to wrap my mind around it. A whole day sitting there wondering if is anybody coming here to help? Turns out they weren't. No transportation people, no law enforcement, no military, nobody. You were just out there on your own. And now that everyone is safe, the finger pointing has begun, naturally. The good folks at the Virginia Department of Transportation, VDOT for short, said they were prepared for the storm, but unfortunately the snow fell faster and longer than their crews could manage. Now, I don't know what prepared means. I'm not a transportation professional, but I know we've had heavy snow before. Was nothing learned then, or does this tweet from White House reporter Catherine Watson sum it up? The DMV, north enough to get snow, south enough to have no clue how to handle it. Now, Virginia Governor Ralph Northam didn't see the need to declare a state of emergency. I don't know if calling it that would have changed any part of the state's response, but Hundreds of people trapped by the side of the road for hours certainly feels like an emergency. He also said people should have heeded warnings and stayed off the roads, which is just a very slick way of saying it's your fault. Now, it's been asked why the National Guard wasn't called. Well, there's not much they could have done. They could have maybe gone car to car checking on people, but they don't plow snow. So we're right back at square one state agencies. But a little car to car from them or maybe the Marines at Quantico would have probably gone a long way, especially if you're a diabetic in need of insulin. It was a pure mess out there, but it actually could have been worse. Reportedly, thankfully, no lives were lost this time. My hope is that you guys were paying attention, taking notes and learning the proper lessons because next time it might actually be worse.